Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube video. In today's uh, episode, I'm gonna talk, take you through on how you do a setup of uh, connecting uh, Microsoft Outlook with your cPanel email. All right. Now, uh, just to give you an overview, exactly why are we uh, using Microsoft Outlook in being at emails? The major reason is that uh, the email for cPanel is kind of a bit ugly and maybe i don't know it's just it just looks a bit old and everything right and i can just give you an overview exactly what i mean your emails right the e user interface is not that inviting as compared to how we see them on uh, probably gmail or our other or our outlook and these other things okay yeah so Outlook actually acts as a better interface when you're actually looking for your emails and that's what you're going to do. You want to do some integration between the cPanel email and your and your Outlook, right? Yes. Now, uh, before you even get started, we need to know what are actually the requirements for us uh to to make sure that yeah we are able to actually connect uh our microsoft outlook with uh cpanel email all right and this requirement are two of them of course the first thing is that you need to make sure your your machine has outlook installed and you already have a cpanel uh email you already have cpanel emails already set up so if you don't have cpanel emails probably you haven't even bought you need to first buy your domain and hosting account get it set up and also create your cpanel email so that we are you are able now to move on to this phase all right so in my case i'm doing it for a client and uh, everything is actually in place so let's get started all right now um what we need right now is that uh, first we 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 want to get hold of the cPanel emails and the credentials. Okay, and one of the things that we need in terms of uh, the credentials first is the of course this email address. We just write down here some of the requirements that's needed so that the process goes on so smoothly. All right. Yep. Mm. Now, the first thing, of course, you need an email, cPanel email, and uh, of course, the cPanel email should uh, coincide, of course, with uh, the password. That is very essential. Yep. The other thing also that you require is the you need the going, you need that going uh, server. Mail server, outgoing mail server address. Sorry. You also, and uh, of course, with the outgoing uh, mail server, you will also need something called a mail port, right? In fact, uh, it's not, it's actually it's something called an, uh, let me just write it here. And outgoing, we need outgoing mail server. We also need an IMAP port. IMAP port. Take note of this, guys. Very essential when you're doing your setup, right? So we need an IMAP port, and mostly the IMAP port is normally 993. And uh, okay, that's good. And then next, we also need the incoming. Sorry, I think. I have confused I, the outgoing sub mail server needs SMTP SMTP port which is 465 right 465 then the next thing is uh, you also need an incoming incoming server server mail right Server, incoming server. <coughs> yeah. 
and uh, the incoming server needs to have a consigning port which i want to do it right now In the port should be it's now the imap port of uh, 993 okay good so with this we should be good to go let me just uh, do some editing here everything is correct it's, yeah so this is actually actually the things that you need okay in the c panel email credentials you need the email that you're going to that you'd want to add on uh, microsoft outlook with password we also need the outgoing mail server okay and uh we also need the incoming server together with the imap port which is normally uh, 9993 right now to we need to of course confirm how do you gonna how are you gonna confirm uh, probably the outgoing mail server or even the password and everything the first thing you need is to come here and head straight to your C panel right so in the C panel what you do is you, you, you pick your email right let's say if this is the email that you're picking and then you click connect devices right now when you click uh, connect devices just scroll down just a bit right and there's this part which tells, shows you manual mail client manual settings as you can see here this is where now you, you, you get all the details that is needed as you can see the incoming server is this one Client, it's mail <coughs> mail summit .co .ke. so i'll just come here to my document here i'll just put in mail server mail outgoing mail server that is the one now let's also confirm the incoming what is it because now both the incoming server and mail and outgoing is the same right so that's the same thing i'll do here i'll just put mail that's it okay as for the emails uh i already have them i also have the credentials so that's now that we have all the information in place let's get now straight to uh, microsoft outlook which is in our machine right now let's get started mm -hmm. so what we do is just put this down and now just head straight to Outlook and search for Outlook. Okay. Now, once that is done, as you can see, this is our Outlook uh, 2016. So I'll just click next. From here, they ask you Do you want to set up Outlook to connect to an email account? And uh, up here they're saying use Outlook to connect to email accounts such as organization uh, exchange server or exchange online accounts, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Do you want to set up Outlook to connect to an email account? Yes, that is correct. That's actually what we are doing for this video. So I'll just click next. Right. Now here, this is where you need to be very careful because as they're asking you, uh, you have two options when it comes to account setup. There's email account where you put in your emails here and uh, password, and that is it. Okay, this is actually the automatic way of doing thing, doing things. Okay, but I would actually recommend you to use this one here: manual setup and additional server uh, types. That's what you're going for. Click next. Now, when you're here, uh, you'll be told to choose a service. What kind of a service are you looking for? Now. Right now, remember our emails are not in the Outlook database. No, our emails are in are in uh, cPanel. Okay, and for us to connect to cPanel, we need to use uh, Pop or IMAP technology to connect to cPanel. So this is the second option that you're going to choose. Okay, don't choose the first one. From there, you just click next, right? And this is so from here. This is where you put in. You're required to put in. The details of the email so i'll just quickly put in the name right. 
then uh, I'll actually input the address, the email address. C panel, submit. C -E. I'll move on to the next. Uh, this part is the server information side, so I'll just click here and choose IMAP as my option. Now, uh, on the incoming mail server, you'll just go straight to the information that you had initially. As you can see here, this is the one. So I'll just come here and put in my details. But going mail server is the same. Password is based on actually designated uh, cPanel uh, password. So I'll just go and uh, paste. So just copy paste that. Then on next, just click. Uh, only make sure you proceed now to more settings. More settings. Uh, will start asking you questions for example what's the mail, name of the mail account so this one I'll just mission okay sorry sorry uh, type the name in which you want to refer this account so that's the name organization I'll just put in summit same thing here yeah, submit then proceed to outgoing and uh, always press on this option and stick to the first option user use same settings as incoming mail server and then proceed here to the next tab which is advanced on advanced tab first things first you need to make sure that the inscription connection is in ssl format same as here ssl format Good. Now we need to make sure these ports are the correct one. So when I go back to my documents, uh, it's telling me SMTP port is 465 and IMAP port is 993. So I'll just go back to my settings. We've seen that uh, outgoing SMTP server is 465 and uh, incoming IMAP what is 993 once you just proceed and click OK OK so if you have done all the set settings uh, correctly the next thing is just to click next and uh, the test should actually go through and tell you the setup was successful so let's just click next and see what happens Yeah, first check is okay. Second check is in progress. Ah, good. So the setup was successfully uh, complete. So the next thing is just to close up on this. As you can see, it's telling me everything is set up. So I'll just click here, finish right so the next the next thing you're gonna do is just uh click on outlook you need to open outlook just to make sure that uh the email setup was all successful so just come here to outlook goes yeah so i'm able to actually open my outlook for the client and uh, seems like it's actually retrieving some of the email information from cPanel and then it populates add. so if you need help in setting up your cPanel email with uh, connecting it with Microsoft Outlook feel free to reach out to me I'll actually post my uh, email down below all the best guys see you on the next one bye